an Israelite school, a universal practical knowledge, started out of one west, 125th Street, Hollywood, New York, and a commanded general in your heart. Since 1969, we've been teaching the truth. And the truth is you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are the true Jews according to the Bible. We are not affiliated with any Hebrew Israelite camp or Christian organization. And the oppressive, which is a is the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. right. And what we come out here to do today is show the lies and hypocrisy in the Christian church. And the first thing you must realize is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, we fail in brotherhood and sisterhood, man. The Christian church does not teach brotherhood and sisterhood. We fight each other left and right. All of the black and Hispanic and Native American Indian community is nothing but black or black crime. If we can deal with that offenses as a nation by using this resource right here, this is called the Bible, man. The Bible can help fix black people, Hispanic people, Native American Indian people, man. We must go on this Bible and read to how we must fix black people. Because this, the way of society today, which is America, doesn't fix us. It teaches us how to hate each other, how to be a lawless people, man. This is the way of society of America. When we come back to this Bible, we will learn how to govern our people and fix our people as a nation. The first thing I want to go into, man, give me the first John chapter 4, verse 20. We're going to show you thus says the Lord in the Bible. If you say you love God, then we're going to show you the hypocrisy of the Christian church, man. Because if you look all through the black Hispanic they work in this community, there's nothing but war amongst one of us, man. We're killing each other left and right because we don't have the word of God. You know what? Three. It's the book of First John, chapter 4, verse 20. Uh -huh. If a man say, I love God. If a man say, I love God. Three. And hate his brother. And hate of his brother. All through the black Hispanic and they work in this community, we hate one another and we say we love God. But let's see what the Bible has to say. Read. He is a liar. He is a what? He is a liar. He is a what? He is a liar. He is a liar. If a man say he loves God and hate his brother, he is a liar, man. And this is enough said the Lord. These are not my words. Hold up and show him what you're doing out there, man. This is the Bible. The Christian church doesn't teach it. It doesn't teach brotherhood. It's everybody for themselves. You want to know how I know? Look at the system. Not my God. I got a personal relationship with God. That's right there. It's a, a flicky flicky type of tradition that's coming out of the Christian church, man. It's a selfishness, the water. The selfishness coming out of the Christian church. The Bible teaches different. We must love one another, man. We, how you do that? By following the law, statutes, and commandments that the Lord gave us. The people on this side. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and American Indians, man. Stop it, stop it. Oh, God. This is the book of First John. Chapter 4, verse 20. Uh -huh. If a man say, I love God, if you say you love God, read, and hate his brother, and hate his brother, read, he is a liar. He is a what? Liar. He is a liar, man. The Christian church told our people nothing but lies. And this is why we gotta come out. This is why we hate one another. The reason why we hate one another too as well is because we love our brother more, man. You cannot serve two masters. You can't love one. If you love one, you're gonna hate the other. Right now, we love loving our oppressor and we hating each other, man. Right. We gotta come back to this Bible that was given to us, man. The so-called black, the Spanish, and the American Indians. And how you do that is by coming to the word of God, man. The Christian church is not gonna teach you the word of God. The Christian church is for the entertainment. All you get is singing and dancing and, and jibber jabber with the holy tongue, man, in the Christian church. You won't get the word of God. All you get is a concert in the Christian church, man. Stop on the top one more time. Oh, God. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 4, verse 20. Uh -huh. If a man say, I love God, right. and hate his brother, he is a liar. He is a liar, man. Drop that, give me John, chapter 13, verse 34. Everything we bring to you is out of the Bible. We gave everything a try. Every religion we joined, we failed it, man. How about we give the word of God a try, man? That's what we failed in. The Christian church don't give us the word of God. The, the pastors give their own philosophy. They put one scripture and give you his personal life on that scripture. He's not breaking it down with the, with the Lord say how he wanted, it, man. This is the book of John, chapter 13, verse 24. Simon, Peter, therefore. This is the book of John, chapter 13, verse 24. A new commandment I give unto you. The Lord said this is a new commandment he gave unto you. Talking about the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and 
they work in any three. That ye love one another. That ye love one another, man. This is how you fix black people. The Lord said that ye love one another. It's like you love one another. That, that ye love one another as I love you. As he loved us. Three. That also love one another. Right, that also we love one another, man. But how do you do that according to the Bible, man? You must love your, your neighbor as you love thyself, man. Everything that you have, if you see your brother struggling, you help that brother out. You don't be selfish, man. Just because he have it don't mean you can you, you, you shit on your brother, man. You gotta pick your brother up. If you see your brother struggling, you pick him up. We got our enemy all pressing. He's so far doing it. And look at look at the hypocrisy of our brother. They are two brothers fighting against each other in Russia and Ukraine. They don't love one another. We don't follow after oppressors. Everything we do, we follow after oppressors' ways, man. We gotta separate from this beast called the devil that the Bible speaks of. Everything that we do, we take it after oppressors' ways. This is why we gotta take our spirit out of America and out of the oppressors' ways, man. Because his, his ways is not teaching our people brotherhood. It's teaching our people destruction. Free? Oh God. Verse 35. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. Right, drop that. Give me, give me Titus chapter 2, verse 12, man. Everything we get, we get it out the Bible. The Christian church is not going to do this. Like I said earlier, all you're going to get is entertainment in the Christian church. It's not fixing black people, man, as a nation. It's destroying us as a nation. We fight one another. We got sisters, over 100,000 sisters in our neighborhood coming up missing. And nobody is doing anything about it. None of our leaders. Our leaders does not care about the blacks, the Spanish, and Native American Indians, man. All our sisters. But the men of our should be can't do that's why we're out here today. We're out here to tell our people we love them, man. To separate your way, yourself from this society and call them earth. To separate yourself from the oppressors, the white man, which is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Like I said earlier, his ways is not God's church ways. It's the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, man. You know what? Read. The book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 12. Teaching us that denying ungodliness. The Lord said, teaching us that we deny ungodliness. Anything the oppressor do is ungodliness according to the Bible. And we Sorry. must deny it as a people, man. Oh, and worldly lust. And worldly lust. All through American society has been pushed as homosexuality. Orgies is sleeping with every man's wife. That's ungodly lust, man. We gotta separate ourselves from that. That's not our culture, man. That's not the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel way of life. This is the oppressive way of life, man. And the most I say, deny ungodliness, man. And worldly lust, preach. Oh God, we should live soberly. We should live soberly, man. Be awake until we live, man. Don't live the way that the, this is the beast, which is the devil at the body, by the streets of which is the oppressor, man. His ways is not the ways of God. This, this way is our destruction, man. Free. Oh God, righteously and God. Right. In this present world, in this present world, the world that we live in front of earth, we must live righteously in this place. And how do you do that? Separate your spirit out of this place. Don't, don't celebrate none of these holidays that the oppressor push on our people. Christmas, New Year's Eve, Halloween, Easter. These are all Greek mythology holidays. Put, 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 put down rabbit lays eggs, man. They teaching our people how to be children. But the white man is a big kid. You know when that walks around with a goddamn stick on the shirt that says I vote like a child. Only a child with this stick, man. He's a big kid, that's not our real life. This is why we must separate ourselves from this these called the devil at the Bible so we're still pressing. Let's start from the top of the table. Come on, come. This is the book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 14. Verse 12. Teaching us that denying ungodliness, we must deny ungodliness, man. Deny American society in its way. And worldly lust. And worldly lust. And worldly lust. And All the homosexuality. All the sleep of every man and woman and what a child and wife. All this sexual deviance that's all the world with our people. We must deny it, man. Free. Uh, we should live soberly. We should live soberly, man. Free. Right. Right. And God. And God. And you also must know, man, you gotta hate this word every day. If you happy in this society, you, you hate God. If you if, if you happy in America, you hate God. Because America shows that it hates God, man. It hates its people. Everything that God
God say America does the opposite of God says church. And this is why you must take your spirit out of this place. This place is wicked. And the most eyes will destroy it off the face of the earth. And the people that left it. So if you love America, you're going to get destroyed by the hands of God, man. This is why you must come out of this place so you won't be caught in American destruction. Get your fans in order. 